And if you notice of this meeting being held this 16th day of March 2023 at 6.02 p.m. provided in accordance with Section 3D of Chapter 231, the Public Laws of 1975, commonly known as the Sunshine Law, the Graduate Pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic. Just dance, yeah. one nation under God, in the visible liberty and justice for all. So, uh, second public budget meeting, there were some uh, minor adjustments that were done to the budget since our last meeting, uh, reflecting some changes in anticipated revenue. We, um, I say, we adjusted some expenses then, and uh, the budget reflects basically the same, at least tax level um, and uh, tax rate slightly lower than where we left off at the last meeting. Um, currently, uh, at two point five five cents per hundred dollars of property valuation, uh, which would be a ninety eight dollar increase on the average house assessed at three hundred fifty six thousand two hundred seventy three dollars. $2,723, sorry. And uh, we're using uh, $440,000 of our surplus. So uh, our surplus, well, so I think, I think you know, most of us are comfortable with the budget that we left off with the conversation was whether to use more or less surplus to counteract the tax increase. Um, we're not taking on any new debt. We're paying down a, a lot of our debt this year and will most likely be done uh, with our debt payments in, in total by 2026. But it's also important to have a reserve in place. And actually, I was looking at it and based on what we have accomplished in the past year, 2022, when we started the year, we were at about 17% reserve. Uh, right now, we're, we're over potentially over 30% in our reserves. Uh, so we're not only paying down the debt, but we're able to rebuild those capital reserves. Uh, so my concern about using more for the tax to reduce taxes this year is a lot of, well, actually almost all of the tax increase this year comes from state mandates. And a big portion of that is coming from the stormwater mandate. And 2023 is initial compliance. And then 2025 is the next point of compliance. But it, Across 2024 and 2025, we have the potential to spend as much as half a million dollars complying with those regulations. So, from my standpoint, I'm not very comfortable using more of the reserves to balance the budget this year, but I mean, maybe those to mitigate even larger tax impacts in the next two years. Hey, Paul. Yes. I just try. Um, just a quick question in regards to the reserves. Where are we sitting at right now with reserves before we pull any money out to offset the budget? One, I believe it's one million two hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars. Okay, and we're we're pulling out roughly four hundred and forty at this moment, right. just for this year. Right. So that's going to leave us around eight hundred thousand, correct? And we regenerate about six fifty right now. Hopefully. Yes. Yes. Thank you. That's all I was trying to figure out. I mean, yeah, I went back and forth on this in my own mind. Um, you know, we don't want to raise taxes. That's always you know, something we try to avoid. Um, doing some research, um, taking some classes and some webinars and stuff. I think we're within best practices of where we need to be. And um, like you said, we got hit with the stormwater management thing. This came last summer, kind of out of the blue. Uh, could have another storm this summer that's going to bring another round of who knows what. And I think we need to be prepared for that. And that's kind of where I, I kind of came to a conclusion that I think what we're doing here is the right thing. Also, just to FYI, I'm not sure if you saw some of the recent info, but they're already looking at a possibly 8% increase in health insurance premiums now next year on top right. of the 22% we did this year. Well, which means it's going to be a bigger chunk out of our uh, budget. Yeah. Mr. Keith, 
is what's going on. We're just happy we're not borrowing any money, and that's my big thing. You know that everybody knows that. Happy about that. Taxes, you know, I don't want to raise taxes, but if we got to do, we got to do. And I'm signing, I told you today, yeah. I'm staying happy as far as medium, as far as not three million, but the surplus, we're like right even. So everybody's got to give and take a little bit. I'm certainly giving by accepting that, but I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm really comfortable with this budget for the first time. Okay. So good to hear. I'm very much involved this year. Very much. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Ken? I, I'm, I'm in agreement. I, I, it's a shame that we have raised taxes, but the state of New Jersey has given us some almost crummy raises this, you know, caused, caused our, our expenses to go up. And uh, in light of what, where we were, what we were doing, where we will be when we're done, this is the best possible course of action. I believe that uh, you know this is this is this is the best we can do, and I actually think it's pretty good thing that we're doing. So I'm fair. Jill, is there anything else to add? Is there anything else you'd like to add? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so yeah, I, you know, I agree. I think. Um, you know, we worked hard last year, but I'm still concerned based on what we were facing this year from outside cost increases. And uh, I think it's a very responsible budget that we're presenting uh, and thus lay the framework for next steps for the next couple of years to continue to present, uh, I would say, fair uh, budgets for, for the residents. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm going to ask for a motion that we Accept this budget to be introduced at our meeting at 7 30 this evening. I'll make the motion to accept this to present and introduce at the township committee meeting tonight. Another second. I'll second. I just roll call vote. New York? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Keith? Yes, that's cool. I'm not going to be first. Ken? Yes. I want to be first. You say me? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. This uh, I would, would say concludes our budget meeting. Do we have anything else further to do? I only have one thing to add to thank Jen and the township staff and everybody that that went in really, really hard work that went into preparing and and doing a really good job at, at looking at the numbers and doing what you needed to do to make it work. This, this this definitely is a process. We just spent ten minutes <laughs> on the matter here. It uh, reflects hours and hours of work and and research, and especially this year, um, including you know, our engineers, including other staff members. And, um, so yes, I would like to kind of explain. Hey, Paul. Yes. I'm sorry. Can we can we get like a, a pie chart or something to show the breakdown of the taxes in regards to the state mandated taxes and how? Us in the municipal level, it's not our fault. Now we're keeping our expenses. It's this, this increase is coming from there, just so we can put it out to the public, put a uh, some sort of chart showing there. Because otherwise, you know, there's going to be a lot of misinformation put out there, and a lot of accusation put out there. And I want to try to, you know, put the right information out there ahead of time. Tools always help. Yes, it's a, yeah, I, I would second that idea. Because visuals always help. We'll, we'll create a, a couple of different ways to share uh, visually and, and with the. A little small spreadsheet uh, with the numbers so that people can see where the tax increase is coming from. Make a spreadsheet and make a pie chart showing that this is state mandate, unfunded state mandates that they're forcing down on us. This mm -hmm. is what the health care premium is costing for the employee to say health care premium increase. And then, you know, show, that way we can sort of show that, hey, this is where the, the raises came from, the increases came from. We'll do that. And then uh, I, I joke, nobody reads it, but there is a um, Bayer's budget message. Uh, in front of the budget. So I'm going to read it tonight at the meeting uh, because it, it helps explain. Uh, but again, it's a little long ish. So uh, visual is probably better. So we'll work on that uh, as well. Anything else? Uh, anything else to add? Uh, have a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Favor? Aye. 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 We will uh, reconvene.
mean our normal meeting at 7 30 this evening? Very 